I, I'm a big uh, collector, as you can see. Um, but I think my Cody collection is just getting a little ridiculous. Got my knuckle crunchers. Got AEW Cody in a suit. I got these two Cody's over here. And... Boop, 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 boop. I also have the Ultimate Edition. But that's in storage at the moment. Well... Excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMB, the Sexy Ninja, in the place to be for a paper saber universe. And this is the New World Podcast, brother. We're talking about Collision. September 21st, 2024, Tony and Nigel on commentary. We're in Springfield. We started off with the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championship match, a bunkhouse brawl, bunker brawl, whatever you want to call it. It was just awesome. Uh, Dustin and Sammy put up those championships against the Undisputed Kingdom. I mean, this was crazy table spots, ladders, ch chairs, you know, anything you can imagine. I felt like this delivered. We even got a cowbell. You can't go wrong with a cowbell, folks. And um, Dustin rocking that belt buckle and everything. This was just a this was just a really fun match, man. And they took up a good chunk of time here, but I had a lot of fun. So off the back, this is my match of the night. Then we go into Lexi with the conglomeration and the premier athletes get in their face, and Mark Briscoe cuts a promo like usual, and it's always so so fun. Um and then Lexi's with uh, Darby. Then he gets an evil Uno's right there. And he's like, we got a match tonight. Yeah. You know, getting in his face. He's like, I want the real fight. Oh, you know, hyping up Uno. And Uno's like, okay. <laughs> Hologram and Mark and Kyle versus Premier Athletes is up next. This was a fun match. Hologram, Mark, and Kyle for the win. Then we go into an MXM promo tips. They stole a... Uh, the Acclaims jacket, so they, they're going to debut it at Grand Slam, the beauty makeover or whatever they've done. Um, I'm actually enjoying these little these little promo segments with MXM. They're, they, they have their own, like, flair about them, and they're, they're funny, and, you know, they got them like, oh, don't come. Oh, it will come, but not too quickly, not premature. You know, they have that that wit about them. So I, I, I am enjoying them a little bit more here in AEW. Uh, Mariah May versus Lady Frost. This was a fun match. Mariah May. Sorry, my cat scared me. My cat came out of nowhere. It was like, I, I, nah, I forget about it. <laughs> uh, Mariah May versus Lady Frost. This was fun. Mariah May. She blew a kiss to Nigel. Nigel was like, <gasps> oh, you know, because <laughs> he's in love. Then when uh, Mariah May got the win, and uh, we go to Willow, and then Perrazzo and Taya again in her face. Um, we haven't seen Willow in a, in a bit, and I was like, hey, where you been? Uh, the Acclaims backstage cut a promo on MXM. I, I really don't like the nut up or shut up thing. I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't sound like the Acclaimed. You know, it doesn't feel like it's Acclaimed worthy of a tagline. Nut up or shut up. I don't know. Uh, Darby mocks promo because uh, they got their big match at Grand Slam. And then we have Darby versus Evil Uno. This was a hard-hitting, fun match. Darby gets the win. Renee's backstage with Jeff Jarrett. He's pissed off. He says, hey, I want a strap match with Hangman Adam Page. I want to beat this ass. He's pissed. He's mad. Uh, Jeff Jarrett and his wife's like, oh, you know. So then we go into Queen Aminata versus Serena Deeb. Serena Deeb gets a win. So one and one, I think. If I am correct. Uh, then we get Renee with Soraya and Harley. I love these two. These two are so great. They they, they list out the Soraya's rules match. First rule, there's no rules. And everything benefits Soraya. I love, uh, Harley's so good. Then at the end, I could tell she made um, Renee <laughs> lose her shit. Because <laughs> she had the paper and she goes, <coughs> puts it in her mouth. And Renee's like. You know, she's trying so hard. Just such fun stuff right here. Uh, Lexi's with Dustin and Sammy. And Sammy's like, hey, man, you, you're you Dustin Two Belts. I want to be Sammy Two Belts. So I am going to fight Okada in an Eliminator match. And then after I beat him, I'm going to go and take my shot at his championship so I can be Sammy Two Belts. 
and uh, Dustin gave his blessing. So we're going to see that match, of course. Then we go into our big main event here. Hook, FTR, Outrunners versus uh, Grizzled Young Vets. Roosh, Roderick, and Beast Mortal. Um, what can you do with a five-man match, man, but just have some crazy spots, you know? I mean, it's a back-and-forth brawl and everything like that. So, but uh, the Roosh, you mess with the bull, you get the horns, cabron. Um, got the win for the Grizzly Young Vets, Roderick and Beast Mortos. I love me some Roosh. I want some more Roosh. And um, I, I want more Roosh. I want Roosh more. <laughs> Serena Deeb promo, you know. And then we end it with a great, like, Nigel McGinnis promo on Brian. And it is, it is so good. It is so freaking good. And he ends the show and I was like, man. I want to see these two fight. I want to see these two fight so bad, you know, and yeah. Ah. So Nigel gave me goosebumps, man, but this was a really damn good collision. The Ring of Honor Tag Team Bunker House Brawl, whatever you want to call it, match was awesome. I I, honest, I honestly had a really good time with this collision. I give it a 5 out of 5. Tony Nigel on commentary, September 21st, 2024 in Springfield. Uh, on October 2nd, DMD it will be back for the five-year anniversary of Dynamite. It's been five years. Uh, Wrestle Dreams, October 12th. So a lot of good stuff coming up for AEW. All right. So that's it. That's all. Uh, like and subscribe. Share with your grandma. Share with your grandma. Share with the bum down at Walmart. And, oh, yeah, I got a question from somebody. Someone's like, why don't you hang up your AEW figures? I know I have that Cody one right behind me. I have a and people are like, oh, you just you don't collect AEW figures. I actually do um, collect AEW figures. I just put a box of them in the storage because I I, I don't have the space. I just cleaned this up a little bit because like it it was getting rough. Like there was AEW figures down here. There's AEW figures down here. There's AEW figures over here, and I filled the big box until I can when I get the proper space I can fit my my stuff there's like eight boxes or ten boxes i think uh in storage right now with a lot of my action figures and stuff and as you can see i got yes i got this corner right here but l let me show you real quick okay so yes i got this corner full of all my goodies then it just expands and expands and expands and expands so that's the end of the wall right there the rest is uh there's some stuff down there as well, but yeah, as you can see, I already have a lot, <laughs> a lot of stuff, so I love my stuff. I love my stuff, but that's it, y'all. All right, I am KV the Sexy Ninja, and remember that the New World Podcast is for life, brother. Oh, she's... Oh, my gosh, hold on. Hold on.